Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Bluffton High School, where tonight the ladies take center stage as the Bluffton Pirates welcome in the Allen East Mustangs. Hello, everyone. I'm Danny Holbrook alongside Dar Never Go and our entire WSN crew. And Dar, we take a look at these teams, and Allen East comes in at 14 and 6, 3 and 4 in the league. Started the season out 6 and 1. They won three of their last four, but they've lost four of six in the uh, four of their six losses, excuse me, are NWC losses. Yeah, absolutely. And you know. You know, look at Bluffton too. They they come in at 13 and eight. You know, both these teams have struggled throughout the season. You know, it, a little bit of ex, ex, expectations were high. You know, earlier on, Bluffton was able to knock off Allen East in the championship game of the McDonald's tournament. I expect to hold the same kind of game tonight. You know, defense is going to be the biggest thing for this game tonight. And Bluffton comes in, as you said, 13 and 8, 1 and 6 in the Northwest Conference. And, and when I say 1 and 6 in the Northwest Conference, star, you look at that league, there's not a team in the league with less than 10 wins. And, you know, the top half is 20 and 1, 19 and 1, 16 and 4, 13 and 7. It's a brutal league. It's a very brutal league. And particularly this year, it's been a very brutal league. And, you know, like I said, you know, it, these are two very good teams, really. I mean, you know, you look at them, they're, you know, go down through it, you know, Allen East, a very good three-point shooting team. You know, they got a couple of players that thrown up, a, you know, over 23 pointers apiece. You know, so that's something that Bluffton's going to have to do is guard the perimeter and not let these guys shoot out there on the outside. You know, and Allen East plays a very up-tempo game too. They like to get up and down the court. And so Bluffton's going to have to play a very good half-court offense and stay with them and not let them get out on transition. Let's take a look at our starting lineup tonight. We'll start with the visitors from Allen East. They'll start number five, Kennedy Truex. She's a senior at 7.8 a game. Number 10, Savannah Brooks is a junior at 15.1 a game. She leads the team in scoring. Number 12, Rylan Jones, a sophomore at 12 points a game. Number 20, Dylan Miller is a sophomore at 1.6. And rounding out the starting five, number 24, L. Richardson, a senior at 5.8 a game. Head coach is Aaron Montgomery. The Bluffton Pirates they will start zero Julie Mahaffey at 3.1 a game. Number five, Riley Eaches at 7.6 a game. Sammy Scholes, number 11, at 15.5 a game. Number 14, Kendall Gieske is at 5.4 a game. And number 25, Elena Grothaus is at zero a game. So an exciting matchup here. As you said earlier, Dar, they already played once this year. Allen East took that win 55-52. So I expect another tight game. I, I do too. And one of the big keys for Allen East, though, is they're missing one of their top defenders and Aubrey uh, Young out there. She's not playing tonight. So, you know, that's one, one loss that, you know, they're really going to have to come up with someone around there to pick up where she leaves off. So that's one of their key players. But, yeah, I expect a low-scoring game. I don't expect, any, you know, unless Allen East can really get out there on transition and get some baskets, some easy baskets earlier on. You know, but if Bluffton can hold their own in that first quarter, you know, and stay with them, you know, not let them get out there and do that, I expect a really kind of a low game, maybe in the 30s. That kind of thing. When we come back, we'll have tip-off here from Bluffton High School, the home of WOSN's Evan Skilleter and legendary sports athlete Doug Schweingruber. You're watching High School Sports on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School, where the Bluffton Pirates are celebrating senior night tonight, Dar. So. Congratulations to all those seniors who put in a lot of work in the last four years here at Bluffton High School and the Allen East seniors also. So also I want to send our condolences from WSN out to head coach Eric Garmotter, uh, the head coach of the Bluffton Pirates. His mother passed away. He's not here tonight. So our prayers and thoughts are with him tonight. And uh, best of luck in that whole endeavor. So Absolutely. So we're underway, partner. Nice crowd tonight for a Thursday night girls game. Big crowd, good student section. And we are underway. Allen East controls the tip. This is Rylan Jones with the ball. She'll go to the middle of the floor. They'll swing it out to the left side. Dribble drive down the baseline. Ball comes back in the middle. It's taken away by the Pirates. Yeah, the, see Allen East try to move it on the inside, try to get that right away, get it, control that perimeter. Or this control is, the inside paint, I mean. Kendall Giese with the ball up top. She goes to Sammy Scholes. Seniors at 15.5 a game. She's the leading scorer on this team. Goes baseline. Kicks it out to the side. Ball goes out of bounds. We'll go back to Allen East. So a little bit of nerves here starting this game off, Dar. I'm well, excited. We these two teams have already met this year in the, you know, a win by Bluffton in the um, McDonald's Holiday Tournament Championship game. So they are familiar with each other in that respect. Now, that was a long time ago, though. I mean, we're talking about four back in November. Sure, sure. This is Scholes with the ball. She goes to the middle of the floor. She's double teamed up top. Now they'll go back to a straight man. 
Should bring it back out to Riley Eaches. Three on the way, and it's good. Riley Eaches knocks down the triple, and she makes it three to nothing on the Eastside Insurance scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Eastside Insurance. We provide you the best service and the best coverage at the best possible price. So Riley Eaches knocks down the first triple of the night. She shot 96 of those this season, so they, you know she's There's used to hitting out there. Oh, a three on the way for Savannah Brooks, the junior sharpshooter, knocks down the triple, and she ties it at three on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. So it's going to be a three fest. It looks I like Dar. So. <laughs> we like that. We like a lot of scoring. Nice triple drive, left-handed by Sammy Scholes. She knocks down the deuce, and she gives the Pirates the five-three lead. Sammy Scholes, we talked about her, he's averaging over 15 points a game and five rebounds a game. She's really the, the key to this Bluffton sure. team. There's a dribble drive to the middle. They'll kick it back out to the left side. Allen East averages 48.8 a game. They really get after it on offense. What's, what's surprising about them, and I shouldn't say surprising, what's, uh, what is really neat about the Mustangs is defensively, they only give up 35 points a game. And look, if, you, if you're struggling offensively and your teams, you can hold teams at 35 a game, you're in every game. No, that's, you know, that's what I said. You know, I, I expect a low-scoring game between these two. Be, you know, they're starting out fast in this sure. one here, but you'll see them settle down into some half-court offense in a little while. You know, and just kind of work for the best shot that they can find. So there's a nice dribble drive to the rim. Ball goes off the front iron. Ball comes down, goes almost out of bounds, but it's corralled by the Mustangs. Entering the game now for Bluffton is Aaliyah Grandy. She's in the game. Well, rebounding is going to be a key, too, and there's two very good rebounding teams. You're looking at Allen East averaging over 27 rebounds a game. Bluffton averaging over 29 rebounds a game. Now Allen East is content to pull it out, slow it down just a little bit. They'll try to push it into the middle at the foul line. And there's a travel. You saw Kennedy Truex travel with the ball. She thought about going up, and she gets the travel call and go back to the Pirates. Now, Bluffton did a nice job of shutting her off when she was trying to go around there, and she just didn't have any place to really get rid of the ball. So, Allen East in a little bit of pressure here, and Bluffton's not having much trouble with it as they get the ball to the middle, and they push it down the block, and shot goes up, and it's good. Mahaffey with the deuce, and she gives the Pirates the 7-3 lead on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. So Julia Mahaffey at 3.1 a game. She's got two already. And if they can get into the paint like that, it's going yeah, to it's gonna be yeah. a long night for Allen East. There's a triple again from Allen East. Savannah Brooks with the missed three. Rebound comes down to Sammy Scholes. Sammy Scholes is everywhere, Dar. Oh, she she is. really is. Well, she's the general out there. She's the one that runs this offense and you know controls her defense as well. So each is with the ball. Scholes, a little fake there, goes to the middle of the floor, kicks it back out. Thought about taking the three. She'll go to the foul line extended. The ball goes back to Scholes, and that's where they'll reset it at. Allen East stays in a man-to-man -man right now. Well, Scholes has 28 steals this season, so yeah, she's one of those people that, like I said, she can really do a lot of damage on defense and offense. Well, she handles the ball really well. Oh, that's a key does. for this team. There she goes to the middle. She'll kick it back out. They'll go back into Scholes in the middle. Little dribble drive to the rim. She's going to go to the foul line. And a nice job by Sammy Scholes to get to the rim. She'll be fouled. She'll be fouled by number five, Kennedy Truex. That's her first, team first. Danny Holbrook, Darn Evergolf from Bluffton High School on senior night here as Bluffton takes on Allen East. Happy to bring you high school sports here on WSN. Right, right close to tournament time, partner. Oh, it My is. favorite time of the it year. Is, yeah. I absolutely love it. I do too, and it just you know heats up. And any team can beat any team in any <laughs> night. <laughs> we talked about that last night on the selection show. It's just chaos. It is. There's always one team that ruins a season for somebody. <laughs> so Sammy Scholes hits them both, and it's 9-3 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. Well, it's one of those things that any team can get hot. You know, come tournament time, they may have had injuries during the regular right, season, right? Right. And all of a sudden, everybody's healed up and ready to go, and. Boom, out of nowhere. There we go. That's I know right. Coldwater did that one here. That's right. They did with like four or five wins. Yeah. There's a three on the way. It goes off the rim. It's corralled by Allen East. And it looked like it looked like Kennedy Truex tried to grab the ball, but I think she stepped out of bounds on the far side. Entering the game now is Dylan Miller, the sophomore at 1.6 a game. Truex will take a seat on the bench. 348 to go. Bluffton leads 9-3 on the east side insurance scoreboard. 
Yeah, tournament time is chaos for them, and boy, I'll tell you what, it's chaos for us sometimes too. <laughs> <laughs> My schedule's crazy with the number of games, and I love it. Absolutely love it. Love bringing games to, to your living room and to help, you know, if you can't get out to the games, I, I love the fact that we can broadcast it for you. Bluffton pushes it down low. A little half hook. And a nice job there by number 54, Elia Grandy, as she tries to get the ball towards the rim, but there's a foul on the play, and it'll go back to Allen East. Ayla Grandy is, you know, Averaging over 12 points a game, and, you know, but 11 rebounds a game. I mean, yeah. she is she is a force on the inside. Absolutely. If she can get that shot down, you know, it's going to be difficult to stop it. There's a foul out top. Our free throw sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphi. It's called Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. If there's a lot of free throws tonight, I'm going to get hungry. This <laughs> right, <game>. right. <laughs> there's a three on the way. goes off the iron. Golf ball goes out of bounds. It'll go back to Bluffton. So, Allen East not shy with throwing up the threes right now, down 9-3. But uh, I think the coach is confident in the fact that those girls, he's going to let them play. Well, you look down through their lineup. They, I mean, Truex is 34% from three. Absolutely. Brooks is 37% from three. Jones is 31. You know, they got a lot of three-point shooters out there. Bluffton with the ball. So I said, Bluffton has to stay out there on the perimeter and make sure that they don't get open looks. Kendall Gieske tries to get the ball down to Skulls. The ball goes out of bounds and go back to Allen East. So a few mistakes here in the first going with 2.50 to go from Bluffton High School. Bluffton leads 9-3 on the east side insurance scoreboard. Yeah, unofficially, I got two turnovers for Bluffton now, three for Allen East. You saw there. Number 12 for Allen East, Ryland Jones goes to the post, tries to take it up, does a nice job of getting position, and she's going to be fouled, and she's going to go to the Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, 67% free throw shooter, and that was a great move for her, though. That was a strong move on the inside. She misses the first one. I said to our, uh, our, our, our benevolent leader last night, Ben, I said it's apropos that Lee's chicken is the foul line sponsor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, they thought I was silly, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> well, you know, it, it hey, makes sense, right? That's right. <laughs> My wife sense. would love that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, last night at our meeting, we had Lee's recipe chicken. So, it, I, look, I eat Lee's famous recipe every night. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's people at home sitting there going, just call the game, Danny. Just call yeah, the game. Hey, that's part of calling the game. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> she's the second one on the way, and she knocks it in. So, Ryland Jones gets one of two, and it's 9-4 on the east side insurance scoreboard. Here comes Skulls right up the middle. She's being guarded and pressured by number 22, Bryn Richardson. Well, that's the thing about Skulls, too, is she draws so much attention. And there's a nice steal, and Ryland Jones will bring the ball down the floor. There's Ryland Jones with a nice left-handed drive, and I'm telling you what, Dar, she went around the corner, and she was cat quick when she got to the rim. Yeah, I, I'm impressed with her when she goes to the basket. Yeah. I mean, she's just, Ryland, she gets past yeah. that first defender. And then, you know, if you don't get over there and double up on her real quick, she's going to score. Ryland Jones, the sophomore, at 12 points a game. And she is impressive as a point guard. She can really get to the rim. First one's on the way, and she knocks it down. It's another Lee's famous recipe, chicken free throw. Seven, 12 points a game, and the nice thing is when you got a guard like that that likes to go to the basket. Oh, absolutely. It's 67% of her free throws. Yes, you know she's going to shoot free throws. Yep. So Ryland knocks both of them in. She's got three on the night. It's 9 6 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. This is Skulls, or excuse me, this is Kendall Gieske with the ball. She'll push the ball back out to Ashley Fleece. Ashley Fleece over to Grandy. They'll go back to Skulls. This is Fleece with the ball, looking for, looking to go down to Julie Mahaffey. Yeah, well, he's reaching over the top there to try to keep it out of that paint. Bluff and inbounds ball. You saw Skulls there inbound the ball and immediately goes to the post. And a little left-handed move there. Ball comes off the rim, but I like that play. Skulls just got herself in position where she got an easy shot. She just missed the shot. Here's Allen East, shot from the left side, and it's good. L. Richardson, the senior, knocks in the jumper, and she closes the gap at 9-8 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. So Allen East down 9-2, and they've made six in a row here, so they're right back in this one. Yeah, I got a feeling this is going to be a game like that, <laughs> right. a game of runs, you know. Absolutely. 
Well, I was saying, schools, schools, the nice thing about schools is she just draws so much attention to her that it's going to leave somebody open. Well, Scholes and Grammy on the same side of the floor there. Nice job by Sammy Scholes of getting to the rim. Rebound comes down to Mahaffey. They're going to call it jump ball, and it's going to go back to Allen East. So with a minute 11 to go here in the first quarter from Bluffton High School, Allen East has got a chance to take the lead, being down 9-2 early. Yeah, they made a nice little run there to get back into this thing and see if they can continue it up. Entering the game now for Allen East is number 20, Dylan Miller. And that'll put Bryn Richardson on the bench, the freshman. Yeah, they're, they're a young team. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you look, just yeah say no, we both thought the same thing. Go ahead. I looked at that, and I thought, you know, there's like two seniors on that lineup right there. So here come the Mustangs down 9-8. Kick it back out. Try to go down low. Savannah Brooks with the ball down low. She's going to be fouled by number 14 for the Pirates, Kendall Gieske. That's her first, team fifth. So the fouls are adding up here in the first half. Yeah, Brooks is an 81% free throw shooter, so she's not somebody you want to put at the line very often. So Savannah Brooks will go to the line, the Lee's famous recipe chicken free throw line. She knocks in the first one, and we're all tied up at nine with 52 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Danny Hilbert, Darn Evergolf from Bluffton High School. In a rematch of a game they played earlier this year at the Holiday Tournament, won by Allen East, 55-52. So a little bit of revenge on the mind of the uh, Pirates. I'm sorry, Bluffton won that game. I, I, as soon as I said that, I knew I messed up. So a little bit of revenge on the mind of the Mustangs as the Pirates won 55-52. We do a lot of games. We do a lot of games. <laughs> Here's Skulls bringing the ball up the floor. She'll kick it back out to Riley Eaches. Riley Eaches for three. She misses the shot. Rebound comes down, goes out of bounds, and they're going to say it goes back to Bluffton. Like I said, that game was a little wreck in November, so, you know, there's been a lot of ball sure. in between them for these two teams. Ball goes off of Grandy, and they're going to say Grandy with a foul. That's her first team fifth, so fouls racking up for both squads here. I mean, we talked about the record for these two teams, and Bluffton at 13 and 8, 1 and 6 in the conference, but, you know, they're 9 and 2 at home. Right. So, you know. Yeah, they hold serve. Yeah. Absolutely. So, so Ryland Jones, the sophomore sharpshooter, will bring the ball down the floor. She's guarded out top by Sandy Scholes. That's a heck of a three ball on the way from the top of the key. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Grandy. They'll kick it out to Scholes. She'll bring it up the left side with 20 seconds to go. Back to Grandy. Well, I'm going to work it around here and try to get that shot on the outside if they can. This is Fleece. Kicks it back out to Mahaffey. Six seconds. They'll go into Scholes. Shot goes up from the left hand. Ball goes off the mark. Comes down to Allen East, and that's how the first quarter ends. So after one quarter from Bluffton High School, the Allen East Mustangs have crawled their way back in this one. They lead 10 to 9. You're watching girls basketball on WOSN. Tonight's timeout sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima. Wapak and Delphus call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Did you know there's no admission fee to watch this game, but there is a cost for TV44 to broadcast it for you? Say thanks to viewers sponsored, excuse me, th say thanks to viewers supported TV44 by sending them a financial gift right now. TV44 relies on the donation of viewers to enable the airing of this game and all other locally produced programs. Donate now by visiting WTOW.com and click on the donate button. So a great first quarter there, partner. It looked like Allen East was going to get ran out of the gym, and they did a great job of coming back in this game. Oh, they did, and it, they did it by getting to the free throw line, and that was a big thing. You know, they drove into the paint. They got the point guard out there that's you know, not afraid to go in there either against anybody, and get yourself to the foul line, and that's where they picked it up and got back into this game. So here come the Pirates. This is Riley Eaches with the ball. She'll swing it around to Kendall Gieske, back out to Grandy. Shot from the right side from Mahaffey. We got a jump ball, looks like, and the ball is going to go back to Allen East. So Bluffton right now having a little trouble scoring. They've been stuck on nine for quite a while. 
Yeah, everything's hitting the rim okay, but it's just either short or to the right or left side of it, and just not really being able to drop it in there. Here comes Jones. She's guarded out top by Riley Each. It's a great matchup with two really good athletic players. This is Savannah Brooks up top. Thought about taking the shot from the foul line. She'll kick it back out to the left side. Little dribble drive. They'll go back to L. Richardson. L. Richardson, the senior at 5.8 a game. There's a dribble oh. drive and a nice wow. job by Ryland Jones of splitting the defender's star. I can't believe I what am, I just saw. I can't either. <laughs> I thought when she went and started to go in there, they're going to box her away from there. She just kind of squeezed right through. Ball comes back to Granny. Three ball from the top of the key. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down, and a nice rebound there by number 24, L. Richardson. So right now, Rylan Jones putting on a show as she's got every move in the book. Oh, I thought she'd go uh, she go pop one right there. Heat hey, check right not? there, Dar. Why not? So it's 12-9 on the east side and Sharon scoreboard. I'll tell you what, Bluffton is. You know they're not hitting right now. Like you said, Danny, they're stuck on nine for a while, but they really haven't had any good shots either. There you saw. Jones tries to take it inside, and that ball's thwarted away from her. Ball comes down to Skulls. She's at the foul line. Twist a little bit. Comes back out to Grammy. Grammy with the two. Misses off the rim. Rebound comes down to Ryland Jones. Jones pushes the ball up. This is Kennedy Truex. Shot from the left side. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs. Ball goes out of bounds, and it's going to go back to Allen East. They're getting multiple shots, Dar. They're getting offensive rebounds, and it's really helping them right now. Yeah, it is. And, you know, they're getting better shot selection than Bluffton's been able to get. And you give a lot of credit to Allen East's defense for that because they really have, you know, kept them away from the paint. And you just saw your big girl for Bluffton shooting from outside. So, you know, that shows you what Allen East's defense has been able to do. So Taylor Nichols, the sophomore, comes in, and she's t tasked with a tall task right now of trying to guard Grandy in the middle. And she's fronting her right, or she was trying to get the ball down low, um, trying to get good position, but Grandy held her own position there. Bluffton desperately needs a basket on this position. This is Gieske with the ball out top. She's guarded out top by, by excuse me, by Savannah Brooks. I mean, it's only 12-9, but really the momentum's been in Allen East's court for a while. This is Grandy. She'll kick it back out. Shot goes on the way. It's off the mark. Rebound comes down to L. Richardson. Richardson gets it over to Ryland Jones. She'll go to the middle of the floor, takes it up with the left hand, Lance. and knocks it in. Ryland Jones right now is on another planet. 14-9 on the east side insurance scoreboard, and Ryland Jones has got half that at seven. And the thing is, she's not afraid to throw it up there. I don't care. She just breaks away from the defender and just throws well, it up there. Yeah, she's getting to the rim, which is yeah. half the battle. And it's her quickness. There's a three on the way by Scholes. That goes off the mark. Rebound comes down. Rebound by Taylor Nichols. The sophomore corrals the ball and gets it over to Jones. Three ball from the right side, and it's good! L. Richardson knocks in the triple, and the Mustangs take a 17-9 lead on the east side insurance scoreboard. Here's Skull. She brings it back. That ball's blocked. They'll kick it back out, and they'll reset. This is Riley Eaches with the ball, and they're going to say, oh, there's a timeout. We've got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 4.23 to go. Allen East leads 17-9. We're back here at Bluffton High School. Our timeout sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, home style, happens here. Well, partner, you said it best. They needed a bucket, and they got a turnover. And then what happens? They compound the problem by giving up an easy bucket to the Mustangs. And right now, Alan East is on a 15-2 run. I mean, just really yeah, playing well. This is a 7-0 second quarter for Alan East. Yeah. And, and it, Bluffton's just not getting good quality shots either. I mean, they, you know, Allen East has got a hand in front of them. They're, they're bodying up against them. They're not letting them get off a, a clean shot. You know, and that's something they really need to get. They need, you know, that's the girl right there. Skulls is one. She's gonna, yeah, I was going to say, she's going to have to get it started. There's Skulls, a little dribble drive. She'll kick it back out to Ashley Fleece. Fleece will kick it around to Riley Eaches. Try to push the ball down low. This is Eaches back to Skulls. This Allen East defense has got such quickness, too. They'll go back out to Eaches. Eaches is 
guarded tightly. And we talked about it earlier. Allen East gives up 35 points a game, and you can see why, because they really get after it on the defensive end. Bluffton tries to push the ball down to Blair Utendorf. Well, they do a good job of sliding to wherever the ball's at. You can see it on their defense. Just, Skulls yeah. thought about taking the shot there. He gets it over to Utendorf. Utendorf brings it back out. They'll bring it out to Aegis. Back to Fleece, and they'll reset the offense. 3.31 to go until halftime. Allen East leads 17 to 9. There's a steal from the Mustangs. And right there again, you see Ryland Jones with the big steal. She'll get the ball out to Savannah Brooks. She brings it down. They'll go back to Jones out top. Jones is guarded by Riley Eaches. Jones splits the, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? <laughs> Ryland Jones knocks it in. She's got nine on the nine. The Mustangs lead 19-9. She's getting all the rolls at the basket. She absolutely, too. well, she's getting to the basket, and, you know, closer to the basket you are, easier the shot, and she's doing it all. This Allen East defense averages about 12 steals a game, so, and, and you can see why. I mean, they just slide right wherever the ball's at. They got quick hands. They're so quick on their feet, too. This is Skulls with the ball up top. Nice left-handed drive. She's going to be fouled. She'll go to the Lee's famous recipe foul line. You just wondered, too, Dar, with Bluffton under this intense pressure by the Allen East defense, they're going to have to go to their bench and play quite a few players. Yeah, they are, and they're going to have to try to come up with some kind of combination that really works for them. And right now, you know, this may break the, the run by uh, Allen. Well, she misses that she misses shot. misses that one. She's a 70% free throw shooter. So Skulls misses the first one of two. It's still 19-9 with 2.38 to go until halftime. Danny Holbrook, Dar never gone from Bluffton High School. There's the second one on the way. And she misses that one too, so they'll stay at nine. So they have not hit a shot since the first quarter. And Allen East tries to get down quick. They throw the ball away. The intended target there was number 24, L. Richardson. But the senior just goes off the tip of her hands. It'll go back to Bluffton. And you see Allen East picking them up full court here. Well, they're going to put the pressure on because you can see it's wearing on Bluffton right now. They're getting. You know, tired a little bit. Skulls is getting tired out there already. You know, just trying to battle through there sure. and get a basket. This is Riley Eaches with the ball. She'll swing it over to Kendall Gieske. Inside and a nice move by Aaliyah Grandy. Knocks it in and takes them off the nine point mark. And it's 19 to 11 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. That's exactly what they need to do, Dar. They need to get the ball in to their post player, Grandy. She averages 12.2 a game. Go to the basket. Absolutely. And that'll open up a whole lot of things for them, including schools from the outside or any of their other outside shooters. And a nice dribble drive by L. Richardson. Goes from left to right, knocks in the easy bunny, and it's 21 to 11 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. That's seven points already for Al Richardson. It, you know, you look at their offensive set right now, and everything is going towards the rim. And when it doesn't go to the rim, they're so open on the outside because Bluffton has to play off them. Oh, absolutely. Like I said, Alan East has good three-point shooters, too. So They go back into Grandy, and she is fouled by Taylor Nichols. Taylor Nichols has got a tough task. Grandy's a nice post player. Getting a little coaching from the coach there. You yes, know, she is. Entering the game now. What do you want now. me to do, coach? Come on. <laughs> Entering the game now. Number 12, Ryland Jones, and number 20 for the Mustangs, Dylan Miller. Come on, coach. She's six foot two. What am I supposed <laughs> right. to do? Right. <laughs> There's a nice, easy shot by the Pirates that goes off the mark, goes out of bounds, and go back to Bluffton. So they went to Julia Mahaffey, to Julia Mahaffey there, and she misses the little shot there, but they get the ball back. And that's been a pattern this whole first half for Bluffton, too. He's just right off the yep. edge of the basket, just not getting over that rim. So there she is again. Randy misses that one. They were hanging all over there, partner. I'm not real sure if that wasn't a foul. So with 1.15 to go, Allen East leads 21 to 11 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. There's a steal from the Pirates. It goes back to the Mustangs. Dribble drives in the middle, and you see there, Ryland Jones, even when she's not making shots, she's getting fouled, and that's a sign of a good guard. I'm telling you, when she can get to the rim as effective as she is right now. Yeah, and she picked up that loose ball in a hurry, got over there when the knew her teammate was in trouble over there. You know, so, yeah, she's, she's a good player, I'll tell you. She's got nine on the night. She's at the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. She knocks in the first one. She's in double digits. She, she leads all scores. She's got 10 for the Mustangs. They lead 22 to 11 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. 
She averages 12 points a game. She's well, she's, I was going to say, she's well on her way to that, partner. Second one on the way. And just as easy as the first one. So Ryland Jones has got 11 to lead everybody on the floor. And the Mustangs lead 23-11 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. This is Scholes bringing the ball up. They try to push the ball down. There's a steal. Here come the Mustangs right back on the left side. Jumper from the left side. It's off the mark. And they're going to say that Scholes went over top of number five, Kennedy Truex. So they get Sammy Scholes on the foul. That's her second. So you wonder if she'll take a seat here in the first half, not to pick up that third one at 47 seconds to go. You got Ashley Fleece coming in there right now to reload. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're going to do. Yeah. And that's a good move on the Bluffton bench right there. Make sure Scholes doesn't pick up that third foul. Yeah, play out this last 47 seconds. You don't want to get that one. First one on the way, and it's good. So Kennedy Truex knocks in the first Lee's Famous Recipe free throw. That's her first point of the first half. Averaging just under eight, eight points a game. Senior, a good-looking player. As she misses the second one. Rebound comes down, and it comes down to guess who? Ryland Jones. That ball's blocked as she tries to take the shot up. A little scrum for the ball, and Bluffton comes up with it. They'll bring the ball down the middle of the floor. This is Kendall Gieske. There's a three from the left side, yeah. and it's good. They needed Riley, that. Yes, Riley each just knocks in the triple, and they needed that in the worst way. It's 24-14 on the east side insurance scoreboard. That's her second three in the first half. So Riley each just calms the offensive problems there for the Bluffton Pirates. Allen East is going to hold for the last shot. As their coach is telling them, just ease up, girls, ease up. We're at 10 seconds. They're looking for Jones, and they're going to take a timeout. And I like that move, Dar. They're going to set up. You know, you got a 10-point lead. We're going to keep it right here. They got a 10-point lead, and they were trying to get the ball to Jones, and I'm sure he didn't want to force the ball. She's obviously who they want to take the ball. Or maybe, maybe they'll set up a play for her to, you know, divert yeah. the attention. Let her be the decoy and have somebody else get in there. But, sure. You know, yeah. You, you go, probably go to Jones, you know, let her just drive for the basket. If nothing else, maybe she'll pick up another couple of free throws. Do you enjoy games like this one? Are you thankful for the chance to showcase our local high school teams on TV? Please consider making a donation to TV44 so we can keep airing games just like this one. Donate online right now at WTLW.com or send a gift by phone by calling 419-339-4444. And thank you so much. I see WOSN's Evan Skilleter sitting over there. Yeah. We'll we'll reach in there and get some of that moldy money on <laughs> Skilleter. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's over there with his family. He it's is. Good, good night for him to watch a basketball That's game right. He's got his, yeah, his beautiful wife and his beautiful daughter sitting over there and just enjoying a night of high school basketball. It's what it's all about. And I'm impressed his daughter just sitting there. And right. Oh, that. she's clapping not now. Running, not running around all over the place. <laughs> Dad's probably got her a snack yeah, or two good. over there. Yeah. So 6.8 seconds to go. Allen Easton inbounds in front of the Bluffton bench. Savannah Brooks will inbounds the ball. They get it in to Dylan Miller. Tried to go back to Brooks. They'll go back. Shot goes up to the right side. Goes off the mark. And that's how the first half will end. So after one half of play from Bluffton High School, the Allen East Mustangs lead the Bluffton Pirates 24-14. You're watching High School Sports on WOSN. We're back here for the start of the second half from Bluffton High School. Danny Holbert, Dar Nevergal, as the Allen East Mustangs take a 24-14 lead. Season 18 of the Sports Report continues Friday night. Join Patrick Kamler for a full hour of the most comprehensive basketball coverage around. All season long, Fridays at 10 p.m. on WTLW. So, Dar, we take a look at the first half, and Allen East pretty much got what they wanted. They, they, a great offensive system of going to the rim, getting their shooters open by going to the post, and you look at Bluffton, they could buy a basket for about a six-minute stretch. No, they could. And ironically, both teams took 20 shots in that first half apiece, you know. But the real tell of the tape came down at the foul line where, you know, you look at Allen East, 8 for 10, 80% at the foul line. Bluffton, 2 for 4 at the foul line. So, you know, there's six-point difference right there. And, you know, you throw in two, the Allen East, 10 rebounds, Bluffton, 5. Turnovers, 4 for Allen East, 6 for Bluffton in that first half, you know. 
So really, you know, Bluffton's got to find some way to get some better scoring. Now, right now they're five for 20 from total field goals in that first half, and that's only 25%. They got to do much better than that. Their leading scorer, Sammy Scholes, only has four. And you take a look at Allen East, and it was the, excuse me, the Ryland Jones show as she was just magnificent in that first half. She had 11 to lead the Mustangs as they lead 24-14. So Bluffton will take the ball, and Sammy Scholes is fouled out top by Dylan Miller. That's her first, team first. Both teams got into a little bit of foul trouble there in the first half as we had to see Skulls go to the bench there before the end of the half with two fouls. Yeah, that'd be a real big loss if they lose Skulls out there, you know. And that's a bad thing when you get two fouls on you in the first half, you know. You, if you pick up that third one in the third quarter or something like that, then your fourth quarter, you're real tentative on how you got to play. But, you know, you look at that Allen East team, 11 points for Jones, seven points for L. Richardson, and five points for Savannah Brooks. There's another missed three by the Pirates. Riley Aegis misses that from the right side of the key. So Jones will bring it out top. Bluffton goes to a man-to-man -man right now. And you notice Grammy is playing off of her man. She stays in the middle. She's a defensive force in the middle. And if she can guard that basket and get a few blocks and get, a, get some rebounds, they get back in this game. There's yeah, they nice pretty much held her out on the rebounding as well. A nice dribble drive by Kennedy Truex. Kennedy Truex, a good-looking player, as she knocks in the deuce. She's got three on the night, and she makes it 26-14 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. Well, they kind of use, you know, Grandi as the, as the person, you know, she stays in the middle in case they get past that first defender. She's supposed to do that. Nice little screen and roll there by zero, Julia Mahaffey knocks in the deuce, makes it 26-16. Mahaffey's got four on the night. They're gonna need a lot more of that. Absolutely. She thought about taking the three. Now, right now, they just need baskets. I mean, I'm sure Coach was happy that she drove to the basket instead. Jones dribbles the ball between her legs there with ease. She's a nice looking player, the way she handles the ball and gets to the rim. Happy's only shot four three-pointers this season. So. Jones picks up the loose ball there. She's guarded out top by number five, Riley Aegis. Kick it down low. This is Savannah Brooks with the ball. 5.48 to go here in the third quarter. Allen East leads 26-16. This is Richardson with a nice drive. L. Richardson knocks in the deuce. She makes a 28-16 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. Tonight's scoreboard is presented by Eastside Insurance. We provide you the best service and the best coverage at the best possible price. And there's a steal. There's a steal by Kennedy Truex, and the ball's taken away from Truex. She gets it back, gets the ball to the middle. Little mid-range jumper goes off the front of the rim. Rebound comes down to Grandy, and she'll get it out to Scholes. So an opportunity there by the Mustangs as they let that one slip by. As Scholes goes down the right side, ball comes up, and it's corralled by Jones. She'll bring it down the middle of the floor, guarded by Riley Aegis. Tell you what, Scholes has just not been able to get off any clean shots. They're really guarding her tight. And there you see again, Ryland Jones putting pressure on the Bluffton defense with her ability to get to the rim. And now she's going to go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. Or are they saying that was on the floor? Oh, I my goodness. So. Okay, well, they'll, no, they'll no. take it out of bounds. I think the Allen East coach was under the impression she was going to be shooting, as was I. No inbounds the ball. There's a nice dribble drive by L. Richardson. Kicks it out. Two on the way. That shot goes off the mark by Dylan Miller. Rebound comes down to Scholes. Scholes goes down the middle of the floor. Nice little move. Ball gets tapped away from her. She'll kick it out to Ashley Fleece. Ashley Fleece on the right side. Goes back to Scholes. Scholes, nice turnaround. Puts the ball up. She was knocked up a little bit there, but the ball comes down to Grandy. Grandy puts it in. Makes it 28-18 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. Grandy's got four on the night. And I, she needs a lot more of those two, the offensive re or rebounds and putbacks, because like I said, this she, she comes in averaging 11 rebounds a game, and she's really been held out of the paint on the rebounding side. And there you saw Grandy get a foul there. She reaches in. Not a really a well-advised play there by Grandy. And that's her second foul. And they can ill afford to get her in foul trouble. Entering the game now for Allen East is number 22, Bryn Richardson, the freshman who played such a good first half. She's back in the ball game. 
Alanis triggers the ball underneath their basket. They go back to Jones out top. Jones goes back to Brooks. Brooks with a three from the right side. Goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Grandy. Grandy kicks it out to Scholes. Four minutes to go here in the third quarter. Pirates down 28-18 to the Allen East Mustangs. We've this had a lot of action, but Bluff hasn't been able to make up any of that deficit. There you see Jones with a near steal as Ashley Fleece tries to pass the ball. Jones knocks it out. They're going to say it went off Bluffton, and Allen East is going to take it out at midcourt. Look. Right now, Ryland Jones is controlling both ends of the floor with her defensive effort and her offensive moves. And it's all that quickness. I mean, she's just so quick. She's got such quick feet, you know, and even going to the basket for the drives and then on defense as well. This is L. Richardson with the ball at the free throw line. Little wheel action. There's a nice dribble drive to the right side. And Savannah Brooks is going to go to the Leeds Famous Recipe free throw line, and she'll shoot two. So Allen East continuing that pressure of going to the rim, forcing the action and making Bluffton defend the ball. And, there's, and they're very good free throw shooters. And this is one here, this girl here is shooting 81% from the free throw line, two for two in the first half. You know, they're going to continue to make that drive to the basket. So Savannah Brooks, 15.1 a game. She's got six on the night. And, and really, when, when Jones is playing this well, that takes a lot of pressure off Brooks. And she's played a really good game, but she doesn't have to score a bunch right now. She no, knocks she in does. both of them. But the, but the ideal for them is just what Jones is doing. I mean, you, you know, you take the pressure off of the other girls, you open up your other scorers, and they got a free ride to the basket then. So Allen Easton, a little 2-1-2. Trying to trap the basketball. Bluffton breaks it pretty easy to get it to the middle of the floor. Go inside to Grandy, and Grandy knocks it in. That's exactly what Bluffton needs right now right there. is Grandy to get those easy looks. And it makes it 30-20 on the east side insurance scoreboard. So a 10-point lead, not an insurmountable lead for the Pirates, but they've got to defend right here. Yeah, they got to continue to get that ball on the inside to the six foot two center. Jones tries to get the ball out to L. Richardson. L. Richardson loses the ball. And a break for the Pirates as they'll get the ball back with a chance to cut it under double digits. And yeah, turnover number five for Allen East. 3.08 to go here in the third quarter. Danny Holbrook, Darn Evergall from Bluffton High School. The Bluffton Pirates and the Allen East Mustangs. Second time they've played this year. Bluffton defeated Allen East in the holiday tournament, 55-52. Allen East trying to return the favor. This is Skulls, kicks it over to Fleece. Back out to Gieske. Gieske looking down to Grandy. Grandy takes the ball, kicks it back out. Three ball from the right side, off the mark. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs. And look like Kennedy Truex had the ball, but she was knocked down. And they're going to say the ball went out of bounds and will go back to Bluffton. Wow. <laughs> I thought we were going to see a foul there, but apparently we didn't. So here come. <laughs> golden opportunity for Bluffton now to get it down to single digits. Her skulls and dribble drive to the free throw line goes off the left side, a little spin with her right hand, and she's going to be fouled. So Sammy Skulls trying to make some action happen as she goes to the rim. She's fouled. She's going to shoot two from the least famous recipe free throw line. Yeah, 70% free throw shooter. You know, right now she's you know came into this game with 135 attempts. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, La Pock and Delphus. Call Lee's for all your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken. Home style happens here. Hungry yet, partner? I am a long time ago. <laughs> so Sammy Skulls knocks in the first one to finally get it under double digits for the Pirates. Skulls has got five on the night, and she tries to knock in the second one, and she does just that. Makes it 30-22 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. So here come the Pirates down eight with 2.30 to go. Now they have to get stops on defense. Here we go with Savannah Brooks. Savannah Brooks from the top of the key. Off the arc. Rebound comes down, and it's snagged by Grandy. And the Pirates have got a chance to cut it to six or five here. This is Skulls dribble driving the free throw line. Kicks it back out. Ooh. Grandy thought about the three ball. <laughs> she did. She thought long and hard about that one. This is Gieske. She swings it over to Skulls. They get it inside to Grandy. Grandy with a little turnaround. Back to Skulls. Three from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Bryn Richardson. She gets it over to Jones. Jones brings it down the middle of the floor. 153 to go. Jones dribble drive and a nice step through. Are you kidding me? Ryland Jones with a step through. We got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth with 148 to go. You're watching High School Basketball on WOSN.
Welcome back to Bluffton High School. Over the 148 to go, the Allen East Mustangs lead the Bluffton Pirates 32-22. And partner, I'm calling it right now. I'm calling Ryland Jones. I'm nicknaming her the microwave. Instant offense, Microwave Jones, she is hot right now. She yeah, absolutely is, and she's just got a way of just maneuvering around, you know, defenders and, and getting the shot, you know, when nobody else might have been able to get. Sure, absolutely. So Bluffton inbounds the ball. They'll bring it down the length of the floor. This is Gieske with the ball out top, guarded by Savannah Brooks. There's a steal. Here comes Kennedy Truex and a nice dribble drive. Kennedy Truex knocks in the deuce to make it 34-22 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. And there's a travel, just what Bluffton didn't need coming out of the timeout. Ball goes back to Allen East, up 12. And that's five points now for Truex, and that's 10 turnovers now for Bluffton. Allen East, this is a good young ball club. It really is when you look at the number of underclassmen they have. And they've got some scores, and they can defend. And anytime you can defend in this league, you got a shot in every game. Well, they're not overly big. I mean, no, absolutely not. Just, so they make up for it in their quickness, and they're just great defense. This is L. Richardson out top. L. Richardson, the senior, she'll give the ball to the sophomore Ryland Jones. Ryland Jones goes to the right side, kicks it out, three ball on the way, and Savannah Brooks. That ball was swatted out of the air, and a nice job by Sammy Scholes. This is not in my shot. Man. <laughs> Sammy Scholes shows you some athleticism there as she knocks the three ball out of the air. This is Jones again. Thought about going baseline. There she goes, guarded by Scholes. She'll turn to the left side, tries to go back underneath ever, kick it back out to Brooks. And a great job there by Scholes. You see her just hold her arms up in the air and say, you know, she can't afford to get that third foul right now. And Brooks loses the ball. But they're going to say that ball was hit out of bounds by Kendall Gieske. And Kendall Gieske really getting after Savannah Brooks on the defensive end. 50 seconds to go here in the third quarter. They'll go back to Brooks. Brooks gets a screen from Jones. Brooks with a nice little jumper and knocks it in. Savannah Brooks, the junior sharpshooter, knocks in the deuce to make it 36-22. That was a sweet move, too. And there's a collision out there, and Gieske is down on the floor, and she looks like she's in some pain as she hit the deck hard. Yep, and she's up, so good for her. But there was a little bit of a collision out there, and Kendall Gieske went down hard. So Bluffton will take it out in front of the Allen East bench with 33 seconds to go, down 14. And that last little jumper we saw there, we haven't seen a whole lot of those mid-range jumpers. This is Scholes, and she's double teamed, and there's the steal from Allen East. Here comes Kennedy Truex with the ball, down to 18 seconds, swing the ball around. This is Jones, and the microwave knocks in another <laughs> deuce. 38-22, the microwave's got 15 on the night. Well, there's a shocker. <laughs> so, Ryland Jones is having the night of her life right now. She's got 15 to lead all scores, and the shot goes off the mark after three quarters of play. The Allen East Mustangs lead the Bluffton Pirates 38-22 right here on WOSN. We're back here at Bluffton High School. We're after three quarters of play. The Allen East Mustangs all over the Allen or the Bluffton Pirates, 38-22. And partner, this is a clinic on your defense setting your offense up. Oh, absolutely. And you look down here, Bluffton has had all single-digit quarters so far. And at nine in the first, five in the second, eight in the third. You know, so they haven't been able to push over double digits in any one of the quarters so far. So this is Jones with the ball up top. She's guarded by Riley Eaches. She goes to the rim, right back up, kicks it back out to Nichols. Shot on the way, and a nice jumper from the top of the key by Bryn Richardson. And she gives the Mustangs the 40-22 lead. Everybody's contributing tonight for the Mustangs as they are on fire. Yeah, that's Bryn Richardson's first basket of the night. So here come the Pirates. They'll bring the ball up the floor. This is Riley Eaches. Shot goes up from Grandy. Ball comes down to number 24, L. Richardson, and the Mustangs will take over. 
Bell. Bluff is only getting one shot now on any possession, and that was one of the, the keys for Alan East. You know, Aaron Montgomery says, you know, we want to hold them to one shot or no shots. Brooks goes to other. the middle, gets it out to Nichols. Nichols puts up the two-footer, goes off the mark. Rebound comes down to Grandy. She'll kick it out to Scholes. Scholes goes down the right side. Here comes Scholes to the middle of the floor. She thought about going to the rim, but she's thwarted in that attempt by the Mustang defense. She's guarded out top by Bryn Richardson. There's a little jumper from the right side, and a nice job there by Julia Mahaffey. Mahaffey's got six on the night for Pirates, and it's 40-24 on the east side insurance scoreboard. Jones gets a screen out top. Excuse me, I'm sorry about that, partner. Got a nice look on that outside corner. There you see Ryland Jones got a screen out top. She missed the shot. Rebound comes down to Grandy. Grandy will get it out to Scholes. Bluffton needs instant offense here. They'll swing it around to Gieske. Gieske swings it back to Riley Eaches. There's Scholes from the left side. Three ball on the way. It's off the mark. And you saw her body language right there. She's just really frustrated right now with what the Allen East defense is doing to her. She's frustrated and she's a little bit tired because she's Absolutely. really had to work hard well, out there. Yeah, you, you wonder if Bluffton hasn't played many players tonight, and I said that earlier in the telecast. With the defensive pressure of Allen East, you, you'd think they'd play a little more players, but hey, I don't coach. I just call them, so. <laughs> So we got a foul out top. Fouls on number 12, Ryland Jones. That's her first. And that, isn't that something, Dar, as aggressive as Ryland Jones is? That's her first foul into the fourth quarter. And that was that was really a frustration foul, sure. too. Sure, sure. There's a three ball from the left side on the way, and it's good. Oh, Riley Aegis knocks down the triple and makes it 40-27. Here come the Pirates down 13 with 5.55 to go here on senior night. That's nine points for her, all three-pointers. This is Jones up top. Three ball from the left side for the Mustangs. Off the mark. Rebound comes down, and it's fought for. It'll go back to the Mustangs, and Savannah Brooks chases it down. She kicks it back out to Richardson. Elle Richardson, the senior. She dribble drives to the right side. Three ball from the right side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Jones. She scoops it up, takes it inside. Misses the shot. Rebound comes down to Grandy. And here come the Pirates down 13 with 5.22 to go. This is Skulls on the left side looking for an easy bucket. She loses the ball on the deck. And it looks like we're going to have a held ball maybe. We're going to see held ball goes back to Bluffton. I thought the Bluffton coach tried to get a timeout there. Yeah, it seems like, Danny, every time Bluffton makes a little bit of a run, Al Nice has an answer. Keeps that distance. Three ball from the right side for the Pirates. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Grandy. Another three ball from the top of the key. Rebound comes down. Bluffton getting multiple shots on the offensive end. This is Gieske. Tries to go to the middle on the right side. She's going to be fouled. So Bluffton, with three attempts on the offensive end. That's going to send Kendall, or excuse me, that's going to send the ball underneath the basket where Bluffton will take it out of bounds. They're going to give Ryland Jones a little bit of a breather there. Can't imagine why. <laughs> right. <laughs> She's played a heck of a game tonight. She sure has. Here's Skulls in the middle. Takes it up. She's going to be fouled. No, they're going to say a held ball as the Allen East defense collapsed on her. They do a great job when the ball goes to the post star of collapsing on the offensive post player. They get a lot of help from each other. I mean, a lot of good communication and defense out there. So with 4.52 to go, we're going to take a timeout here as Allen East continues to lead 40 to 27. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School with 452 remaining in this game. The Allen East Mustangs continue to lead 40 to 27. Danny Hilbert and Darn never gone from Bluffton High School in this NWC matchup of the Pirates and the Mustangs. And all night it's been all Mustangs. Uh, Pirates trying to make a run here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, the Mustangs that we talked about earlier, they came in missing Aubrey Young, one of their top defenders and starting guard on this team, and Riley. And Jones just decided, well, I'm just going to take over from this point on. It's just, you know, we'll make up for that, and we'll just take it, this game in a different direction. Absolutely. So here's Jones with the ball as she brings it down. She's guarded out top. 
There's a near steal. Jones collects the ball again. She dribble drives to the foul line. She'll kick it back out with 4.35 to go. There's a foul out top, and they're going to say that Kendall Gieske reached a little bit there. That's her third foul, Gieske's. Yeah, neither Fourth team in any foul trouble of any kind. Allen East will take it out in front of the Bluffton home crowd. This is Dylan Miller with the ball, gets it over to Jones. Jones goes to the right side. She is guarded tightly by number five, Riley Eaches. There's a little jumper from the left side, and it's good. L. Richardson knocks in the jumper. She's got 11 on the night. She makes it 42-27. She got a nice little soft shot. She there absolutely too. does. So here come the Pirates trying to claw their way back in this. We're at the four-minute mark until this one's called. And it's a frustrating night for the Bluffton Pirates because they really have worked hard, but they just seem can't seem to get over the hump. Skulls with the ball out top. She'll swing it over to Aegis. Aegis will reset it. 3.45 to go. Skulls on the right side. Three ball from the right side. Off the mark. And they're going to say Bluffton foul. But I think they're going to get Kendall Gieske on the foul. Yeah, that's her fourth. Yep. So Kendall Gieske with her fourth foul of the night. She averages six a game, and she's got nothing right now. So you're right. It's been a very frustrating offensive night for the Bluffton Pirates. Well, they haven't been able to really get anything going on offense. They've really, you know, they've had to fight hard on defense just to keep, you know, Allen East away from the basket. There's a nice drive by Savannah Brooks, and the ball is just blocked as she tries to go to the right side and take it up. Here comes Skulls again for the Pirates. She swings it out to Gieske. Gieske pushes in to Grandy. Grandy kicks it back out. This is Eaches. Three ball from the left side. Goes off the mark. That shot put up by Mahaffey. Mahaffey misses that one. Ball comes down to Ryland Jones, and she'll reset the offense for the Mustangs. And the problem for Bluffton right now is they don't have a lot of time to, to set up an offense. They really got to take a lot of shots. Jones, Jones again gets around the right side. She misses that shot, but a nice drive by her. There's a three ball, and it's blocked. Number 24, L. Richardson, the senior. She blocks that shot out of nowhere. You saw some athleticism there, partner. You got to be impressed with this, Alan <laughs> right. I mean, You sure do. You know, they communicate well. They fight off of the screens well. You know, well, it's like, just that yeah. quickness. Like we said, they're 14 and six, and four of their losses are league losses. It's a really good team. Here comes Bluffton down 42-27 with 2.20 to go here in the fourth quarter. This is Eaches with the ball up top. She's guarded heavily by Savannah Brooks. They try to push the ball down to Kendall Gieske. They're going to say Gieske was fouled down low. Well, she can't catch a break either going to the baskets to get to the foul line. They keep calling it on the floor. So Bluffton will take it out underneath their basket. Sammy Scholes will trigger it in. They go inside to Grandy. Grandy puts it up, misses the shot, gets her own rebound, goes up with the left hand and knocks it in. Ayla Grandy knocks it in, makes it 42-29. Grandy's got eight on the night. She's so strong. She's, She's a very strong player. Just reaches up. She didn't even leave the ground on that one there. Here's Savannah Brooks with a nice dribble drive and a nice drive to the middle. She misses the shot. Here come the Pirates down the left side. They'll kick it back out. Three ball from the left side on the way. Off the mark. Ball comes down to Gieske. Gieske with the shot attempt. She's fouled in front of the foul line, and she's fouled by Savannah Brooks. She'll go to the Lee's Famous Recipe free throw line. So if you're bluffed, then this is exactly what you got to do. You got to get to the free throw line with the clock stop, but unfortunately, you got to get defensive stops. Absolutely. Lee's famous recipe, chicken and lima, Wapak and Delphus is our free throw sponsor tonight. So Kendall Gieske knocks in the first one. That's her first point tonight, too. Makes it 42-30. Second one on the way. And she knocks that one in, so she's got two on the night. And we got a timeout on the floor. We'll take a timeout here in the booth. We're watching high school basketball on WOSN.
Welcome back to Bluffton High School with 1.38 remaining in this contest. The Allen East Mustangs lead 42 to 31 here on senior night at Bluffton High School. What, what do you think the Bluffton coaching staff told their kids down 11 here with 1.38 to go, Dar? Well, that's a tough 11 to, to try to make up. They, they, you know, they're firing up three-pointers to try to make it up, but they're only three for 19 from three-point range. Not a so good they've percentage. Been, yeah. uh, they've been off the mark, you know, usually hitting the back side of the rim, that kind of thing. And, you know, they're getting some open looks in the three, but it's not doing, you know, much good if you can't knock them down. But, yeah, you can imagine that Alan East is going to run it around now for a while. Well, I'd, yeah, I'd start with putting the ball in that young yeah. lady's hand. <laughs> and Jones is fouled out top by number five, Riley Eaches. Both teams with six fouls apiece now, so but it's a little bit too late for the Pirates. Sure. Here come the Mustangs with 125 to go. This is Dylan Miller with the ball up top. As they are content to run this out, they're going to play a little keep away here in front of the Pirates. As they go back to Richardson, Richardson goes back to Miller. And we've got a foul on top. Foul is on Julia Mahaffey. That's going to send her to line, too. Excuse me, that foul was on. They did a, didn't do a good job of communicating with us who the foul was on. We missed that one, but try to get that to you. She misses the free throw. Rebound comes down to the Mustangs. And that foul was on the Hafey again there. And that'll send, excuse me, number 24, Al Richardson to the free throw line. Richardson's got 11 on the night. Lee's famous recipe free throw line. Knocks that one down. First one is good, 106 to go. Mustangs lead 43-31. She may be camping out at this free throw line for the rest <laughs> Absolutely. of the game. Absolutely. Second one on the way, and she knocks that one in. She's got 13 on the night. Mustangs lead 44-31 on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. Our scoreboard is presented by East Side Insurance tonight. We provide you the best service and the best coverage at the best possible price. East Side Insurance is our scoreboard sponsor. So we're under a minute here, and the Mustangs continue to lead 44-31. There's a foul out top. They're going to get Kendall, or excuse me, Ryland Jones on the foul. As her coach implores her not to foul. Yeah. <laughs> he <Yeah>. understands. <laughs> there's 54 seconds left. You don't yeah. need to do we that. We got the lead. <laughs> I know you like to play aggressive defense, but hey, you can back off a little bit. That'll send Gieske to the line. Kendall Gieske goes to the line. She's got two points on the night. Yeah, Mustangs lead 44-31. Yeah, both at the free throw line. Yeah, one of the things in this game is Alan East is 12 for 14 at the free throw line. They don't miss. <laughs> Gieske lets the first one fly. She knocks that down. She narrows the lead to 44-32 with 54 seconds to go. Second on the way, and she knocks that one in. So there's a timeout on the floor with 54 seconds. We'll take our last timeout of the night. You're watching high school basketball on WOSN. Welcome back to Bluffton High School, where with 54 seconds to go in this one, the Mustangs from Allen East lead the Bluffton Pirates 44-33 here on senior night. From Bluffton High School, Danny Holbrook, Dar Neverdahl bringing you high school girls basketball action, heading towards March Madness and the tournament run to the University of Dayton. Happy we can bring you this coverage. Allen East is going to take the ball out. Bluffton is in a full court man-to-man -man press as they have got to get a steal. There's a long throw, and Allen East beats that press coverage. They get the ball to L. Richardson, and she'll be fouled. She'll go to the line. And they got Sammy Scholes on the foul there. Like I said, you know, Richardson's going to just sit out there on that foul line all night. She's taking the last uh, three trips there. Well, she's got a chance right now to tie Ryland Jones for scoring honors if she knocks in both of these. 
First one on the way, and that looks just as easy as the other one she's been knocking down. She's got 14 on the night. She gives the Mustangs the 45-33 lead on the East Side Insurance scoreboard. Balance scoring tonight, seven in the first half. Second one on the way. Seven in the second half. Goes off the mark. Makes it 45-33. Here come the Pirates down the floor. This is Gieske with the ball out top. Three ball from the left side. Off the mark. Rebound comes down to Savannah Brooks. Ball gets tied up, and they're going to say there's a foul. That'll send Savannah Brooks to the line. So 36 seconds to go. Pirates still fouling. Down 12. Not the first one put the foul line for sure. She's 81% free throw shooter. Riley Eaches will take a seat. They'll bring Ashley Fleece in for her. Savannah Brooks to the line. Knocks that one in. Savannah. I'll tell you what, she's nothing but net when it comes yeah, to free right. I mean, she is not back one of them in there. Savannah Brooks has got 10 on the night. She's the leading scorer for the Mustang. You look at this, Dar. They've got three starters in double figures, and you said it best. You talk about a great effort by, by you know, by the individual players for Allen East, and now the Bluffton seniors are getting their just-deserved applause from the home crowd here on senior night. Allen East making their line change. Entering the game now for the Pirates, number 10, Jordan Schweingruber. Number 25, Elena Grothaus. Number 12, Macy Schott. And number 31 here. Number 31 on my roster. I'm going to have to check that out here. Got a 32 here. <laughs> Blair Utendorf. Excuse me, I thought it was 31. I'm getting old, Dar. I can't see anything. <laughs> Are we all? That's a true Savannah Brooks lets the second one fly. And a big time night for that young lady. She ends the night with 11 points. That'll bring in Lydia Payne for the Mustangs. Now you know, Stan, she had to hit the rim on that one just because I said she hadn't done it yet. Pirates come down. Nice jumper there by number 12 for the Pirates. Macy Schott knocks in the jumper to make it 47-35. This is Avery Keeson with the ball out top for the Mustangs, guarded by number 10, Jordan Schweingruber. Ball goes out of bounds. It's going to go back to the Pirates with eight seconds to go. So a nice win for the Bluffton Pirates, or excuse me, for the Allen East Mustangs, Dar. They're going to finish off this regular season at 15 and 6 and 4 and 4 in the league. So a great season for the Allen East Mustangs. Yeah, a nice, nice tune up to go into the Oh, absolutely. With, you know, at this stage. Because, you, you know, you're going to get your other players back. You're going to, you know, and, and if you continue to do what you're doing, just drive to the basket, get those kind of shots, get those fouls when you need them. Play and this quick defense. That will do it from Bluffton High School. The Allen East Mustangs win 47-35 to here on senior night. And a nice win for the, as you said, the Mustangs going forward into the tournament. Yeah, absolutely. You know, they did everything they needed to do. You know, it, as far as defense-wise goes, they are so tough and so quick on defense. And I talked about it being a low-scoring game somewhere in the 30s. Well, the Pirates ended up in the 30s. You know, Allen East put 47 on the board. But, you know, great game for the Allen East Mustangs. A great game for Riley Jones. Riley Jones. I mean, how do you stop that young lady? Oh, absolutely. She's you know, a nice I mean, player. <laughs> nice player. So Bluffton ends their season at 13-9 on the campaign as they go into tournament trail. And I think you said it best all year. They're just going to have to figure out how to get some more people in the scoring column. Yeah, they need to, and they need to finish those shots. You know, sure. a lot of their shots were just off the rim. You know, they looked like some good looks. And they were, you know, from the three-point line, unofficially three for 20. And that's not going to get it against any other any team. So, yeah, they got to they got to sew that up a little bit. You know, they got all the makings. They got, you know, they got some scores out there. They got some good rebounders. So they just got to put it all together again. So that'll wrap it up here for Darn Evergo. I'm Danny Holbrook and our entire WSN crew saying we'll see you next time and see you down the tournament trail.